Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I go by the name of Diva Nay for those who are new. Hello, welcome. And for my return subscribers, Wagwan, you're digging in, you're checking in. Woo I just literally want to show you guys my everyday makeup routine. It does not include lashes because I don't feel like that's an everyday thing. Some people may prefer it, some people may not. But I just want to show you guys what I do for my everyday makeup. And I do want to try, I'm not saying they, they're not new makeup hacks, but it's new to me because I have not tried it. So I just want to just try it and just give my little conclusion or review on what I feel it has done to my face. So guys, if you're interested in this show video, please stay tuned. And let's just get back like, straight into the video. Actually, no, no, no. Before we even get straight into the video, press that red button right there, right now. Light it up for you to press. It's not going to hurt you. Like I always say, and it's not going to kill you. Just to press that red button. But anyway, that's only if you guys are interested. And we're going to force you guys. But yeah, press that red button. And let's just get straight into the video. Oh, right guys you can see that i have done my eyebrows off camera and the next step to this face is the foundation so guys i am going to take the l'oreal true match foundation in the color caramel slash toffee and if you guys want to know the number it is 8.5 d slash 8.5 w i'm going to use a real techniques brush to dab that all in my skin for an everyday look i don't think you guys need like that much foundation blend it in like this right guys so that is all um rubbed in i wouldn't usually just have a plain eyelid i would always add like some type of like shimmer or a basic color eyeshadow. This is one of my old eyeshadows from Revolution Pro. So I'm going to take this color here, that one, and rub that all over my eyelids. All right, you gotta have some type of oomph to your eye. If you guys can see it, but. That's what I'm going to do, rub that all in. So you see what I mean? It's, it's, it's just giving yourself some type of definition to your eyelids. And, and then I'm going to take the same brush. Yeah, it's every day, you, have to use, you don't have to use 101 brushes. Uh, you just use the same one, especially if it's going to be a darker colour. So I'm just going to take this brown here. Well, if it looks brown on camera, but I'm going to take this colour here. And just place it on literally my eyelids. Just to finish it off. This makeup should not take more than like 15 minutes. So I just want to get into the nitty gritty, trying this new way of... And if it's new, whatever, you can see the application works and the way of placing the contour and everything else works around here. So I'm going to take my 16 hour wear cameo concealer in the color tan latte and do this placement. Like I'm not using a sponge, I'm just gonna use the same brush that I would use. So I see people place it like here. There. And just here. Yeah. Guys, bear with me because um, this is actually literally the first time me trying this. I have not tried this off camera. So you guys are gonna be trying this with Shmi. Okay? I think there's a little one here. A little one there. I can't remember the rest, but um, yeah, I'm gonna do it now. So I'm gonna, um, I'm sure I'm gonna put it here. 
I don't even know. But I'm just gonna put a little bit. <laughs> I don't know if I'm meant to put it there, but boy. I'm sure there's no right or, right or wrong to this. It will blend out anyway. So I'm gonna do that. And then see how that pans out. So I'm gonna take this brush and then just blend everything in. So guys, um, I have tried this concealer thing. Um, I don't know, I can see that this area here is not much highlighted where you would normally put your concealer. Um, it doesn't look like it has lifted my face in a way. So, I don't know, let me try the contour placement higher up here. Yeah, I've blended that out, I've blended that out. I just wanna see what this, Really looks like now I'm going to place it where I see people placing it literally just where their cheekbone is up here that's where I see people place it and I'm going to do the same for here I'm going to blend that all in a little bit to add a bit of warmth back to my skinny so now I'm gonna use the Sasha buttercup setting powder to set it right into the skin from what I see of these hacks on TikTok so I know it's not something that is new because I've seen people do that in the past but I just wanted to see what this look comes out of like too bad the Maybelline fit me matte flawless powder in the color 350 just to just place all over my um, foundation literally all over so it's good to rub that all out and yeah all done and now I'm gonna take the Benefit Bare Real Mascara in the color black and place it on my eyes. Put the mascara on. And then just place it under my eye. me just using that mascara it just lifted my eyes um yeah I actually like this and now I'm going to take the she glam blush in the color scrolling and place the blush up here like what I see people use not the cheek bit they've placed it up where they have put the contour so I'm just gonna take a little bit and then place it up here these new hacks people's cheeks be looking so red and rosy like it's not about looking rosy like that so yeah okay <laughs> i need a bit of shimmer so i'm going to use the xx revolution cream highlighter in the color golden hour this is what it looks like and i'm just going to put this a little bit yeah, just a little bit. Just 
and to finish this look off i'm going to use the revolution i heart chocolate collection in the color chocolate chip cookie and i'm going to use my mua pencil in the club session as you guys always know i use so i'm going to place that on my lips Little setting spray, the Revolution Matte Fix. I'm spray all over my face. This is the finish everyday look using slight new makeup hacks. Um, what I think of it, um, I don't really see um a crazy, crazy difference but it just seems like everything's just up here. So I feel like my face in the way they're right, it lifts your face up. Um, again, I feel like when this is used, it looks a bit more like a natural-ish look, more than a supposedly heavy like look when you put the concealer on the other way. Um, do I like it? Um, it's not bad yes i feel like this is more like for natural look yes it does elevate it but i still think i like the way i normally do it but it's always good to try new things um guys let me know what you think of this like i don't know everything else i'm not sure and i feel like this rosy cheek business like who wants rosy cheeks up here like it's too up there it's that time to say bye but before i go please Give this video a big thumbs up please subscribe to my channel hit that red button before you leave and i shall see you guys on my next video on my next video on my next video anyway guys one love bye bye